Okay, cool. So we're recording now. Um, as you know, I'll probably want to make it public because I want to make everything public. But at the end, I'll let you decide, you know, whether you want to make it public or not. Um, you know, first of all, I just want to thank you, you know, for um, choosing Uniting for Action, for, you know, being on this journey with us. Um, I'm really eager to get your feedback, you know, to begin with about your experience. Um, you know, your satisfaction with the experience, um, the positives, um, any shortcomings, you know, the whole thing for you. So um, let me just let you share and share whatever you'd like to share. Yeah, I had um, really fun with it. And I think I learned a lot of different approaches and like new styles when it comes to public health um, with like your um, businesses as well as Diane's and her socially engaged art because I never really heard of that before so I research people who use socially engaged art and I think that's like a really cool and new approach that not many people know about so I really liked how I learned new things that I couldn't really get with like just normal public health classes so it kind of like was cool to see how you work with your businesses and how Diane worked and just um, the meetings and all the videos being recorded and how you could go on the website and listen to people's opinions and thoughts on it. So I, I think that was really cool and you couldn't really get that anywhere else. I appreciate that. I appreciate the uniqueness of that. Thank you for pointing that out and that you got to experience that and that like you're saying, it's not um, an experience that a lot of people are necessarily getting. So I really yeah. honor and appreciate that. That's really great. Yeah, yeah, I think that's really cool. And I also, Think it's cool how um, we can all communicate and I think it would be a really good idea to find some sort of platform where everybody could communicate and like write in all their ideas instead of having like separate group chats for each person so we can all communicate as one but I think that's the only thing I really um, that comes to my head. Okay um, I appreciate that I appreciate that suggestion and that idea um, do you feel satisfied with your experience with? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I think I um, learned a lot. I, I'm really an, an observer, so I like observing how people work. I think that's really cool Not because not everybody works or thinks the same way and you can really learn from different individuals. So I really like that part about the capstone experience. Okay, great, great. And is there a certain competency that you feel like, you know, of the competency lists that you, you know, really got out of the experience? Yeah, yeah, I wrote it down. There was a few. Um, one competency was like the ability to communicate um, information through written forms or through various medias and diverse audiences. And I think, um, since we record the meetings and we like communicate through Slack that really ties into that part because I could watch different videos and see people's different opinions. And I think that's really cool. So I read about that and people thought it was really cool. <laughs> awesome, awesome, great. Can you hold on just one moment? You oh yeah. That's my fan, thanks. Okay, great. Um, that's great, I appreciate you saying that. Um, okay, good. I'm glad to hear um, all the positive aspects of the experience for you. Um, you know, I, I'll be honest with you in sharing that I feel like I, um, like I and Uniting for Action didn't necessarily um, follow through on our, you know, end of the capstone, so to speak. I feel like, um, you know, that, that I didn't, you know, I didn't supervise you as much as I feel like I could or should have. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like um, I, I don't feel like it. We had we get we gave as much as an organization because of my limitations essentially. And I just want to mm -hmm. you know apologize to you you know personally for that and just you know acknowledge that and share that. Um, it, it is very heartening to hear your side of it and mm -hmm. that you got these positive aspects, which as you're saying them, I, I appreciate even more because um, we are on the leading edge of changing the world here. <laughs> and right. so you are in a really unique experience that you're one of the first people to really see 
um, yeah. what that looks like. Um, I just want to, you know, share again from 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 my perspective. I just feel like I've been so limited personally this mm -hmm. semester, as you've seen, as you've done, you know, as in terms of just having meetings with you, even you know, just following up with Diane to see that she was in communication with you and working with you, as you, you know, told me you you haven't had a meeting with her since our meeting with her, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you know, to me, that's just really disappointing you know on a bunch of different levels really and again just that that you know i feel like that was an experience we could have given to you and should have given to you based mm -hmm. on how we set it all up mm -hmm. and i feel like again it was my shortcomings that didn't have that happen mm -hmm. um you know just to be really transparent and honest with you i've just been going through some really cha big challenges over the last few months um, some really significant financial challenges, which has had my attention on that, you know, in many cases. And it's really, um, it's been challenging for me to carve out time for meetings and for other things when I'm having to worry about, you know, how am I going to pay this bill and how am I going to buy groceries and those sorts of things. And yeah. so, um, you know, the saying all of that, what I want to share with you is that, um, I, you know, I don't know if, well, one, again, I'm very glad that you're feeling satisfied with the mm -hmm. experience. That's, to me, the most important thing, because it's your academic experience, it's your professional experience, you are the one that has used this to go out and prepare you to be in the world and that sort of thing. So I'm very glad to hear that you've gotten all these different aspects. And I want to share that, you know, I feel like there's, there's more that Uniting for Action um, could have offered and, you know, offered in the past to other students when we were more structured and had a whole big team and will offer in the future to students when we have more management and all of that. Mm -hmm. You know, as I had shared with you in the beginning of the semester, you know, this was the one semester for me to, to not have the whole team of students and all of that like we did before. And mm -hmm. Um, as I shared with you, my expectation was that we would ramp that back up by the summer and then we'd have a whole bunch of new students coming on. Mm -hmm. But I've been kind of still in this mode first with the leadership council, but now it's been a month since I, um, you know, essentially ended the leadership council with the three month term that the leaders mm -hmm. came on so that again, I could focus on the programming, which is what I've been doing for the mm -hmm. last month. Um, you know, but it's, I've been so, again, wrapped up in what I've been focusing on that I still haven't, I didn't recruit for the summer. And I, at this point, I'm still not anticipating bringing on students until essentially we show the world what we're doing and mm -hmm. then people just show up. <laughs> That's kind yeah. of the way that I'm looking at it. I'm kind of expecting that I'm going to be on CNN within the next few weeks oh, and right. other and other national, you know, media. And mm -hmm. as I'm out there talking about what we're doing, then I expect you know, people to just be contacting us and saying, hey, how can I be a part of this sort right. of thing? Mm -hmm. um, but all of that to say that I, um, in terms of what Uniting for Action is willing to um, offer to you in terms of, you know, providing you with a foundation for going forward, I feel like we still owe you, so to speak, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm willing to, um, to continue to support you if you're interested and provide mm -hmm. value to you, you know, as you're, you know, going forward, um, you know, as much as as much as I can, as much as we can. Of course, the organization will be able to do it more, you know, mm -hmm. as we start to have this foundation. But I just want to tell you that, you know, even though the uh, official term of the you know capstone is ending at this point mm -hmm. i want to let you know that i feel like there's more for us to give you if you're if you're interested you yeah know, that I, sounds great yeah thank you yeah yeah i i just i i know that you know there's the perspective hey you're done with the semester you're done with your obligations you want to be done and not owe anything <laughs> to uniting for action or what have you and that's totally fine mm -hmm. i don't feel like you owe us anything, um, mm -hmm. you know, but I, but I feel like, you know, we could offer more, you know, in an ideal world, we would have provided more, you know, you would have done more yeah. stuff with Diane, you would have done more stuff with me, there would have been more different things. And again, um, 
it it's it's been a bit distressing to me to be honest over the last few weeks as i've felt like you know i need to be in touch with you i need to be you know giving you assignments i need to be overseeing work those sorts of things mm -hmm. so it's been really challenging for me that i I've, I've been feeling like I and Uniting for Action have been falling short on our end of the bargain, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm very heartened to hear that you're not seeing it that way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's great. I appreciate that. Um, and again, I just want to essentially just say, you know, we're here um, in whatever ways you're um, interested in tapping into what's going to be happening, mm -hmm. um, potentially, as an example, as a power user of the system, potentially working with, you know, other students, other professionals using the system to do, you know, um, things that you're interested in the world, using the system at your potential, you know, future employers or what have you. Mm -hmm. I just want to kind of set the stage for you know uniting for action as a resource for you mm -hmm. um to again in the way that i see it again kind of make up for you know what i see as our shortcomings over the last you know few months and in, in terms of our relationship so mm -hmm. um what are your thoughts about all of that yeah that sounds great i would love that and see um after graduation what my schedule will look like and what we can fit into it and deal with it yeah, yeah, that's really great. I appreciate that. And in that context, um, I won't spend a lot of time on it today. I know that you're studying for finals and preparing for finals and all that sort of stuff. Um, but I'm going to give you a very quick sneak preview of what I've been programming just so you can have a sense of it. You're actually going to be the first person in the world that's seeing some of these oh, wow. <laughs> things. Um, I haven't yet shared them with other people. Actually, um, I just shaved off the beard that I had for the last month because I haven't had anything. <laughs> I, I noticed something was different, but I couldn't really tell. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> well, you hadn't seen me with the beard, but I, I've been, I hadn't had meetings for over three weeks. So I wasn't shaving because oh, I, just okay. shaved, I just shaved for meetings. Um, but it's, you know, I'm, this is me coming back out in the world in a little bit. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just show you um, what I've been working on let you have a sense of what's here for you as a resource and what I'm, you know, what this is going to start to look like for the world. And then, you know, you can um, see, like you said, after graduation and you can take a breath and you can figure out what you want to do, um, you know, what's available to you here. Okay. So any questions or comments before I share this with you? No, I don't think so. Okay, so let me start sharing. And I'm going to do your your um, evaluation today. Okay. Um, you know, again, this is where, from my perspective, just to let you know, you know, I've, I, I in all my interactions with you, you know, I feel you're very uh, intelligent, attentive, personable. You know, all those personal qualities. I can speak to all of those things. Um, there's, you know, different levels of the depth of the work that I don't have necessarily the experience to go on. You know, mm -hmm. you, you did the the video processing, which I really appreciate. Thank you for for doing that and sharing mm -hmm. that. You know, so I have a little bit, you know, of work that's come back that I can evaluate. But I, again, I just want to share that because I'm happy to, you know, do the evaluation and provide, you know, all the satisfactory marks that you, you know, need. Mm -hmm. But it just in terms of again, like going into a depth of a letter of recommendation, like other mm -hmm. students in the past have asked for me, I just don't feel like I have a lot of basis for yeah. it at, at mm -hmm. this point. And I just wanna be you know, honest and direct with you about that. And again, mm -hmm. that's where I wanna give you the opportunity if you're interested in showing me more of those things, having the opportunity to do all of that so that I can you know, speak to more details of you know, yeah. what I know of your capabilities and that sort of thing. So yeah, this is good. Yeah, so let me share this and then you'll see what we've got and see where we're going with this. Mm -hmm. So what I've been doing with the Uniting for Action system, I'm going to go back, is I've been taking the manifestation process and I've been um, automating it. So you've heard me talking about this for a while and now I'm going to show you what that looks like. Oh, that's not good. Hold on one second. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, let me see if this is something that I can fix here. But you know what? I don't need to fix it. I'm just going to go back to this. So I'll just explain the theme part of it. So what I've done, and let me go to a tangible example of one of the past um, models. Okay, so you've seen, I've shown you the electric token example in our past meetings, and you've seen where I've, um, you know, just to remind you, you know, we have the situation where I spent the hour, here's the full hour video with David, and then from that hour video, then I broke it down, you know, using the video processing to one, we created the mind map while we were talking, and then, you know, I pulled out the video clip about serving our clients, a couple of video clips, and then the different clips about, you know, production support. And then, you know, from these video clips, I created this, um, you know, text kind of summary. So what you're looking at here is you're looking at a page with these different sections. Here's the serving our client section. Here's the seeking production support uh, section. And then within these different sections, there's these different, what I'm now calling concepts, okay? So here's the concept producing web three solutions. Here's the video about that concept. Here's the text about that concept. Here's another concept working with influencers. Here's the video about that concept. Here's the text about that concept. So now what I've done, oh, and then also, you know, here's the needs, right? So here's the need of they're seeking these different needs, these different resources. Here's what they're offering and then giving the people the ability to get in touch. And then here's what they're offering for people who can provide referral. And here's, you know, refer somebody, that button. So what I've done again is I've taken this whole structure that you're looking at. And now I've created this completely automated system so that you or anybody and just log into your own admin and build out a page like this. And, um, and people can build out these themes. And that's where I was just getting the error. So the, the idea is you can have themes. So you can select, you know, let's say a um, um, serving a underserved community in, you know, with a certain public health concern in a certain area. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the theme Let's just say, you know, you're dealing with, um, let's say, health equity for older populations that don't have transportation, as an example. So then your the theme could be, you know, public health for um, older populations. And then within that, a sub theme could be transportation challenges, right? Mm -hmm. And then within that sub theme could be, um, you know, addressing it through public transportation, addressing it through, you know, Uber, addressing it through these different mechanisms, right? And mm -hmm. so basically, again, what you can do then is you can build a page about that. And then within that page, you can have the sections, you can have the subsections. I'm just going to show you very quickly, we'll just create just to show you how kind of easy it is. So this is just a temp page, I called it economic sanctions. Let's change the name of the page and just work on this. So let's call this um, transportation for, um, for elderly. Okay, and this will be the name of our page now. Mm -hmm. And so again, the, the admin and them showing you, you and every other user of the system will have this admin. This will be what you'll be able to use, what they'll be able to use. So now we've got this transportation for elderly um, pay, or that's one of the sections within this page. Now we can go ahead and click on this section. And now we can go ahead and add, um, and now I've already got these other sections. We're gonna add a new concept. So in this concept, we're gonna call this, let's say, public transportation.
And then again, this is where within this section now, this is where we get to add the video, add the text. Um, I've even added this interface so you can, you know, polish up the, the text and all that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So just as a quick example, I know this isn't, I don't know what video is in here. This is not like the video That's that we would use. Point. But let's just use an example. I'm in Miami, Miami kicked butt last night, if you didn't know it, against the 76ers. So I was checking <laughs> that out. So, um, so as an example, you know, go ahead and add, let's just pretend this is a public transportation video. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, um, here's an option. Okay. And then hit save. Now we've got this content. So this is what it looks like. So here's the video, here's public transportation, here's a good option. So this is the preview live. And then we can actually, we return to the section. Now we can actually um, view the page. So again, we were still in the admin section. Mm -hmm. Now here is the public section. So mm -hmm. here's the transportation for elderly. Here's the public transportation. So again, it's, now it's live on the website. Okay. And, and so what you're seeing in my mind is the foundation of what's going to be a whole new way that we're interacting with mm -hmm. each other. Because the other thing is this, let me go back. Um, when we go back into the admin and we go into this, um, concept, we can actually add tags for it. And so again, these are all the pieces of the interface that I've been working on and programming. So, you know, right now we have human rights. I've been working on the whole Ukraine thing. So I have all of these Ukraine things. But what I can do now is I can add a new um, section under human rights and we'll call it health equity. I'm going to make this a universal tag, which means it's going to be available to everybody. Mm -hmm. And then within health equity, we add transportation for elderly and then transportation. So again, you're getting the idea now that I'm adding these tags to this, um, to this, uh, concept, then what, what's going to happen is now we have the ability, basically this creates a channel for health equity for the elderly. So when we click on this link, now we actually go to the channel, which is a channel under human rights, under health equity for elderly now dealing with public transportation. So now as you're adding content around, you know, health equity and elderly, then other people are as well. This is the channel where everybody's ideas come together, all of the experts come together, all of the resources coming to come together, the organizations, the businesses. So this is the foundation that allows our entire society to start having these channels that we can tune into where everybody is finding each other, like you're saying, communicating together, mm -hmm. working out issues, creating solutions, and taking collective actions together. Okay, that's really cool. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it is. Um, I appreciate you seeing it and saying that it is really cool. It's 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 going to be very transformational for our society because mm -hmm. if you think about it, it's it's really kind of crazy that for as advanced as we are as a society for as many years and decades as we've had the internet, for as as intelligent as we feel like we are, the fact that right now there's not like one resource that you and all the other public health people in the country and in the world that care about transportation for elderly people that there's no place for you guys to find each other and talk about it and create solutions together mm -hmm. like isn't that kind of basic a basic right. level of creating solutions right right it seems like step one it's exactly it seems like step one for an intelligent society right, right. <laughs> so i'm pretty sure that a lot of people are going to start getting that as this starts to be you know very functional and I, like i said i'm going to 
personally be a power user of the system with a lot of things about what's happening in Ukraine and really calling out, you know, humanity for what we, you know, ought to be doing from my perspective in terms of addressing the threats against um, freedom. Mm -hmm. You know, again, I'm, I'm giving you my personal views. This is not uniting for action. Mm -hmm. Uniting for action, as you know, is um, doesn't take position on issues. And that's why I'm being a power user of the Uniting for Action system in this case. But mm -hmm. as a power user, you know, to me, what's happening in Ukraine is a, a threat to freedom everywhere. Like if we're living in a world where the biggest, strongest, you know, entities can just go around and beat up people and kill people and all that, like, we don't allow that in our neighborhoods, right? We don't allow that in our, in our society, so to speak. So why are we allowing it for other people just because they're far away from us. Like if it was happening next door to us, we wouldn't allow it to happen, right? People would show yeah. up and stop that, right? Mm -hmm. So again, that's where it, there, to me, there's a whole kind of like calling out of humanity, like we need to do something if we care. Um, but the thing is, and this is the thing is that, okay, we care, now what do we do? And that's the thing, we haven't had a mechanism, we haven't had a system to actually be able to come together and do something. Mm -hmm. So that's why this is so pivotal is that mm -hmm. as, until we've had a system like this, it's been like, okay, we care, what do we do? But mm -hmm. now that we have a system like this, it's like, okay, we care, now we find each other, now we communicate together, now we come up with solutions, we tap into the experts, the experts share the opinions, we get behind certain experts, we you know, align around mm -hmm. actions and we take actions together. Right. Wow. And yeah. So anyway, that gives you a, a quick, you know, overview of where mm -hmm. we're at with it right now, what I've been, you know, feverishly programming so that as a society, we can have this. Yeah, I've been talking really about important. it. <laughs> exactly. I've been talking about it for years, but until we have a functioning system, like it just is very conceptual for people. Right. Yeah. So it's like, well, it's not conceptual anymore. Like it, it, here it is. It works. This is how I'm using it to create results. Anybody that wants can just log on right now and start using it to create results about anything that they care about. And that's where, you know, to me, this is going to really take off like wildfire really quickly. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. um, so again, I'm setting the stage for all of that because you are in a, a favored position, so to speak, at this point that I am willing to, you know, do certain things to support you with the use of the system to connect you with people to put you in a, you know, space where you can benefit from being an early user and a power user and um, bring it to different entities that, you know, you want to work with or be employed by or whatever it looks like. So again, I just want to share all of that with you, because to me, that's, like the least I can do at this point in terms of, you know, again, making up for what I feel like have been my shortcomings and United Interaction shortcomings in, in your capstone experience. So um, I hope that, you know, in the end, it's, um, you, I, I'm glad that you feel satisfied with the experience already. And, mm -hmm. you know, here's, here's more to just like, make sure that we did you right, you know, that yeah. we- Yeah, that we, I appreciate yeah. that, thank you. Yeah, yeah. So, um, that's really, you know, the main thing I wanted to get across is just kind of give, get, set that stage for you, make that offer, that opportunity. Like I said, you're obviously not obligated, you know, to, to keep following up or whatever, but I at least want to create that, that invitation and the opportunity for you. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, great. So is there anything else, you know, that I can do for you now that Uniting for Action can do for you? Any other you know, loose ends for us to tie up regarding, you know, your capstone experience with Uniting for Action? Yeah, no. Um, yeah, no, I think I'm oh. good, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, again, uh, open door in terms of communication, you know, send me a WhatsApp message whenever you feel like about, you know, anything, anything that's coming up for you, any needs that you have, um, any ways that you want to use the system or, you know, or anything, um, you know, feel, feel free to reach out at any time. All right. Thank you so much. I will. Okay. Awesome. And at, now that we're wrapping up, are you okay with us making this video public so we can use this as a learning experience for others as well? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Okay, great. Great. I really appreciate that and honor that. Um, great, Kumba. Well, again, I just want to reiterate that, you know, I've found you to be a, a great student, even the little, you know, interactions that we've had. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate 
um, what you're doing in the world in terms of the public health and what you're bringing to public health, the ways that you, you know, extracted value from this experience, even, you know, with me not being as, you know, available as I would have liked to have been, um, you know, I really appreciate and look forward to seeing how you're going to take all that you've been, you know, learning in your studies and with everything into the world and making the world a better place. And I'm here and Uniting for Action is here to support you any ways we can to help you with that. Thank you so much. I had a lot of fun. Thank you. Awesome. I really appreciate that. Okay, great, Kumba. Well, good luck with all of your um, exams. Um, wishing the best for you and um, wishing the best for you in your life. Yeah, thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, sounds great. You will. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.